hi and welcome back to my channel this is the third and final video of the princess peach costume today i'm going to show you how i created the poofs the jewelry and the crown i am also going to show you how i created the gloves these pieces were all trial and error since i did not have a pattern for them the poofs i started out with the hoop skirt on my mannequin and just fiddling around with the fabric until I liked it. As you can see, I'm just pinning some pleats in the poofs. Once I got those into a position I liked, I went ahead and hemmed the raw edges and then I hand stitched them onto the dress. Now on to the gloves. My daughter has very, very little hands and so I had to use one of her gloves to make a pattern. And then I just extended that pattern to the length that I needed. I did use some white stretch fabric that I had in my stash. The way I make gloves is I do not cut the fingers out. I will sew along those lines that I created and then I will trim the fingers up afterwards. Once those gloves are sewn up, I flip it right side out. And then I do the same thing to the second one. On the raw edges on the elbow of the glove, I do do a rolled hem, that way it gives it a nice clean edge.
With the jewel piece that's on the front of the bodice, I do have a 3D printer and I don't use it very often, so I decided to use it for the jewel. I tried the resin casting, but I have old resin and it did not work out very well. The files for this jewel actually came from Thingiverse.com and I will link it below if you want to check it out. Once this was printed, I went ahead and gave it a coat of black acrylic paint and then I painted it with gold acrylic paint that I mixed with a little bit of yellow and then blue in the middle. I did seal this with Mod Podge afterwards and then hot glued a pin to the back of it. I did try to 3D print the crown, however my 3D printer was not liking it. So the second option was craft foam. I did not like the way that looked and so my final option was fabric. The pattern I got for Peach's crown, I did get it from another YouTube channel. I'll link his down below. And I just put it in Photoshop and scaled it down to the size I needed. I added the pattern to some white cotton and then I also traced it out onto some really thick interfacing. And before I started sewing it, I took some cording and some bias tape and I inserted the cording into the bias tape to make some piping and I added that to the bottom of the crown. And then I sandwiched that piping in between two pieces of cotton and the inner piece. And here's where I made a mistake. I should not have closed the bottom up so I could flip it. I should have closed the top where the points are. Later on I did unpick this bottom edge and redid it. Here I'm just cutting the excess bias tape off. And now I'm just going to go ahead and sew up those points on the crown.
time to push out those points and make them all nice and pretty. To finish the bottom off, I just went ahead and fold the raw edges under on the inside and top stitched it down. And with the sides being open, I wasn't too worried about it because those are where I'm going to stitch it together to close it up. And this crown will get painted so the paint will keep those edges from fraying. I did hand stitch this crown together. For the jewels on the crown, I used Jumbo Googly Eyes because they had the right shape and I painted two red and two blue. I did lightly sand these googly eyes to make sure the paint stuck better. And here I'm just tracing with my fabric marker where these jewels are going to go. For the trim detail on this crown, I did use 3D Puffy Paint. Once the jewels were dry, I hot glued those onto the crown, and then I used Puffy Paint to add the rest of the trim onto it. Then I gave the crown a coat of gold paint, and I added a hair comb to it. And this is the final dress!
If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next week. Bye!